Well, we bought more sheep. They made the long journey from Steinbeck, Manitoba, where our good buddy Nathan raised these awesome Rito ewes. A hundred of them that came in on the truck on this beautiful fall evening. These are going to be some future mamas here on our farm. We're so excited to have them. Linda and I moved them over into our main sheep barn. We split them into a couple pens, made sure they had lots of room and fresh bedding, and let them settle in for the night. A long journey, but a good one. Glad to have them here. She learned her lesson. <laughs> yeah, right. How's that instant coffee treating you? We ran out of real coffee. We're drinking it. I like it. It's a little. It'll um, do. <laughs> you can kind of chew it. You just made her a little thick. Yeah. So in this episode, there is uh, the new sheep coming from Nathan's. My hair, I'm like trying to make it look nice, but it's just like straw. I can just put like a smiley face <laughs> over top of you. <laughs> okay, so new sheep coming from Nathan. I think we got footage on that. And yeah, Tobin's 2.0. Yeah. Uh, and then we treated all of them, right, for shipping fever, just to make sure they were healthy. Yeah, then, it's a preventative, but. Yeah. But they came like 24 hour journey, not straight, but. Um, so, yeah, with that, processing calves and weaning calves. Yep. So we weaned all the calves off their mums and we brought them into the barn. Calves are still out on grass. Cows are on grass. Cows, sorry. Calves are in the barn. It's, the coffee's defective. Babies are weaned. We left the bull calves out there with easy weans in them. Right. Make sure we didn't have any heifers get bred right. when they weren't supposed to. We don't need any... There's something else in this. Whoopsies. Corn harvest. Corn harvest is in here. Corn harvest. The whirlwind that it was. Yeah. 
Boom, done. <laughs> yeah. And then, are we gonna put in this video a big, maybe a teaser of a big, big thing happening? Okay. I think we should. Okay. You guys don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Some of them do. Okay. <laughs> Some of them would have seen it over on Instagram. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, it's busy. And everything's muddy and it's nice. It's okay when the sun, sun shines, but yeah. today's day. just drizzly and dreary and cold. And it's a good day for instant coffee. It could be, could be an ad. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Why don't you say something informative? You want to talk about trauma belief? I got lots of statistics on them. Nobody cares about them. <laughs> Here's the only statistic that matters. Every year they let their fans think they're going to do well <laughs> and they get them all revved up and Toronto's all hyped up and everybody's fighting over tickets and they get almost to the playoffs and then they crap the bed. The end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. But. You have to be a true eternal optimist at heart to be a Leafs fan. You have to be able to handle that pain year in and year out and still drive on. So that's why Leafs fans are the best kind of people. Or stupid. <laughs> or delusional. Yeah. <laughs> we got lots going on. It's good. Yeah. We're having fun. It's a healthy Are you having state fun? Of, I'm having fun. Healthy state of chaos. I'm a little <laughs> tired and a little stressed out, but is that to do with the big thing that we can't talk about? Yeah, it's a hundred percent to do with that. There's a bit of stress there, but it's gonna be good. I promise. You don't know. I know. Don't make promises you can't keep. It's gonna be great. Yeah, eventually. You gotta think like a Leafs fan. It's gonna be great. <laughs>
get it. <laughs> it worked. Kamikaze grew up. What was that like our second episode was all about him? Hi buddy, do you remember me? Kamikaze. Legend. Okay. Let's go girl. Fine. Is that a heifer? Nice. And how do you feel right now? So good, but so stressed out. <laughs> what time is it? It's uh, we're a little behind schedule. We're only supposed to leave at three. And as always, she saves the day. Yeah. Uh, so we just brought in a group of new ewes from our buddy Nathan out in Manitoba uh, and they had a very luxurious but long enough truck ride. So we're going to give them a shot of a long acting antibiotic. It'll cover them for 14 days and that's just to prevent any shipping fever from setting in, which is basically pneumonia. So it's a long haul. Long haul and it's a big change in humidity going from Manitoba to Ontario. So that's the other side of it too. They had a lot of adjustments, but overall they've settled in really well. We've been chatting back and forth and I told them they're all, I've taken this nice quiet TMR sheep over to crazy pale screaming ewes already. So <laughs> they know what whole corn is. And uh, this is the entertainment. Yeah, we're going to be real quick here. Okay. Hey, you're in charge of that one. <laughs> nice. Huh? Uh, let's do it. <laughs> That's not nice. Did you mean to chain that gate? It's, it's fine right over here. I got everything right. It's perfect right over here.
I know. I don't know why that went better. This year corn harvest was really enjoyable. The weather was just awesome. Fields were nice and dry. We weren't leaving any marks. Most days we were working in our t-shirts. The corn came off dry and in beautiful condition. Really no complaints. It was a nice corn harvest. We use trucks to haul a lot of our grain in and we also use our tractor and wagons. This year we were hauling into Clearview Grain which is over near Denfield. Awesome operation, excellent people, excellent staff. Just really easy to work with. We were really happy to be taking our grain here this year and will likely continue to in the years to come.
Well, it's a bit of a chicken and the egg situation around here. Now that we've got the old part of the barn full of sheep, it was time to build the cow palace. A discussion we've been having for over a year now after calving outside and dealing with snowstorms. We're just keeping our fingers crossed that everything's going to be ready for calving season. To be continued. Walked a while in the sun Until our day is done and We wish for better times You and I We stood out on the porch We waited for the rain Someday I'll come back here With you again well, We danced a while in that rain Winds that called her names I wish that I could stop time there and then I stood out in our fields I wish for better years then Someday I'll come back here with you again Children grow If there's a better life I'd like to know Someday we'll come back here With them again Someday we'll come back here With them again Said someday we'll come back here With them again